I believe in God. God is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. What is this place? I have no memory of it. I feel guilty. I did something horrible, but I can't remember what it is. I can't remember my life at all. I need help, and I must seek forgiveness. Something about this church. I think I've already visited it numerous times in the past, but I don't have any memory to support that thought. There's something about this church. I think... A symbol of Christ's eternal love for all humanity. It's barely visible, but the altar seems unusual. It is adorned with strangely shaped sticks and, I think, yellow cloths. I have a strange feeling looking at these graves. For reasons unknown, the stones have no names or dates, just a cross. silent cathedral of tall trees. Its gaze gives me a crippling sense of dread. <clears throat> I can't. It's stuck. Someone's holding it from the inside. May I come in? All I seek is help and forgiveness. That voice, I recognize it. It won't budge. Father, can you let me in? I, I know it's you. Here on the doorstep of the blessed house, I'm asking you, I I'm begging. You have not set your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. I know I did something horrible, I can feel it, but everything's so obscured, I have no memory of my deeds. I beg you, have mercy, let me pass. I need his help and absolution. Something's appearing on the stones. Petra Donani, 1943 to 1997. Forgive me, Mother. I barely remember you. It reads, Yosef Donani, 1935 to 199. The year of his death is missing. I can't remember what happened to you. Father, can you... Your mind was infected by your corrupted soul. Shame on you, unrighteous creature. My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. You don't have a soul anymore, son. Look inside. What do you see? guilt and sorrow. If you had stayed true to the faith, nothing sinful would have ever happened. I've never abandoned faith. The true faith. What is true faith? I know you taught me what it is, but I can't remember. 
I can't remember anything from the past. A long time ago, you've made a fateful decision to abandon God. There shall be no grace for you. I never abandoned God. Let me pass. Let me understand what... Enough! No words will ever open that door again for you. It's a pity to what you've been reduced to, Benedict. A corrupted soul is like a bottomless black pit. It nourishes a false faith. You have been eternally banished from his house. But forgiveness is what he can give, even in the darkest of places. Accept your burden! I accept your Bible, Father. It is my burden now. Now walk to the other side of the valley until you reach the place of torment and sorrow. That is my punishment? To dwell eternally in such a place? You've already been punished. For your sins you have been cursed. Who cursed me? God did this to me? Deeds cannot be undone, but can be forgiven. If you truly repent and want to be absolved in His eye, you must go and save your bloodline's last soul. I don't understand. I'm the last of my bloodline. Everyone else is dead. Fallacy! Now leave. Act before the time has passed. Wait, I'm begging you! Who's the last soul? Father? Father! Answer me! Into your hands I commend my fate like I always did. I don't know who I am looking for, but I need to act quickly and find that poor soul before it's too late. For both of us. Holy Spirit, bless this wandering soul. Mother, may you rest in the arms of God who formed you from the dust of the earth. Rest in peace. It's locked. Something about this church. I think I've already visited it numerous times in the past, but I don't have any memory to support that thought. Path to redemption. Or hell. This is the place? Not a single soul is alive here. I may be late. It's a rotting mass of scorched flesh and dried blood. I should stay away from that. It could be infectious. The scent so close to this strange altar is unbearable. All of these people scorched beyond recognition. It's impossible to... Hold on. They all have almost identical marks on their flesh. So familiar. I must have seen them before. I know. Seals of Pledge, the Devil's Marks. 
These people pledged their obedience to the most evil of all. Poor mindless beings. There's something on one of the cadavers' neck. A necklace, it seems. It's a rotting mass of scorched flesh and dried blood. I should stay away from that. It could be infectious. Fire mutilated its hands and gave it a locust-like figure. Salvation is what this person sought but failed to achieve. Its limbs are still intact, but the head has no eyes, no mouth, and no ears. God, talk to me. Give me a sign. Where's my bloodline's last soul? Nothing but silence. It's a rosary, still intact. Some initials are carved on the cross. B, D. B and D. I can't recall. I, I'm struggling, but there's something about it that... Unlike the rest of the human-formed altar, this cadaver has no visible marks on its flesh. Who are you? What do you want? In the name of God, answer me or be gone! Victoria. Show yourself! Victoria. Victoria? She had the rosary. My rosary. Those initials are mine. This is my sister. My bloodline's last soul. Dead. In front of my eyes. God, have mercy on me! Save me! I am late, but I need your help. I need to remember, and I need absolution for my sins. Your fire, your sins. Your bloodline is cursed. The fire. Fire, the screaming, the smell of burned flesh. I remember now. I executed them all, torched them alive in the name of God for acts of heresy. And I killed Victoria, the last of my bloodline, too. But I still can't remember. Nothing before or after this act, nothing at all. It's like I'm seeing someone else's memory. You mean everything to me, God, but I deserve no help and no absolution, for I have killed my own sister. My sins, my sins, my sins. Ugh, eternal torment and sorrow is all I want. that lead to hell!
My, my eyes, I can't see. I can't see anything at all. My, my eyes are fine. It's, it's just that I don't, I, I don't have my glasses on. That dream, the church from my hometown, the graves of my parents, the crucified cadavers, and God in the form of an eye. Uh, it was the most terrible dream I've ever had. That wasn't me. That's not who I am, God. You know me. I remember everything from my past. I've never sinned. I've never been forbidden to enter a church. I know what true faith is. I'm obedient only to you, God. It's what I want. It's how my father taught me to be. My father, who one day just disappeared from our lives, shattering my mother's will to live. And my father, who gave me his Bible the day before he left our family. What? I, I can't find it. It's not in my jacket. Where is it? It must be here somewhere. A wooden stick? It's my blanket. Something's on the floor. Glasses? Oh. I'm so distressed. How was I supposed to find anything without them? Victoria may have been killed by my hand inside the nightmare, but she did something even more terrible to me outside of it. She dragged me to this town and made me stay in this living tomb of a house that tried to taint me while I was sleeping. No, it didn't try to taint me. It tried to curse me. Yes, to curse my soul. I was told in the nightmare that I was cursed. It must have been my mind which was trying to warn me I was being cursed by the house or by the town as a whole. I don't know, both, I guess. I'm still in peril here. I should leave at once, but I can't. I can't leave without my Bible, and I can't leave alone. Not without my, my bloodline's last soul by my side. I don't understand the smaller ones. It's something abstract. But the lady, she has kind, dark eyes and a grave face with long black hairs and such a strange, sad smile. It doesn't belong to any of us, but maybe. Nothing, just a few very long and thick spikes. I'm not going anywhere without my Bible and Victoria. It resembles a dying woman, or one that's suffering unbearable pain. One of her eyes is gouged out, and the other one is closed, and parts of her face are mutilated. This is not a stoop, and the water inside is not holy. This is profane. Tall, dark trees, a crossroad, and a lonely house. It's as bleak as it is in here. It depicts a pale, bald man with a very long, white, or even yellow beard. It's like staring into a starless sky, completely black, cold, silent. It's a bust of an unknown, veiled person. Everything here feels so wrong. Nothing but an endless mass of trees and shrubs under a thick layer of dreary clouds. A 
symbol, almost unnoticeable. It looks like a strange cross with three triangles. Mother used to have a similar one. I can still hear its sound in my head, see the images of those beautiful childhood days in my mind. It looks like a miniature of a skull-headed humanoid tribe. It's an older man, apparently terrified by something he has seen, without being able to see. An elderly man with a strangely shaped face. Both of his eyes are gouged out. The area around the mouth looks particularly strange. feels different, like a separate object. It's moving. It can be pulled. Something moved somewhere. I never should have touched it. I can't see my Bible in these shadows. I just hope. Victoria must have taken it from me while I was asleep and then placed it somewhere upstairs. There is no other explanation, even though... It is strange. She never did that. The eyes give her a frog-like resemblance. The vastness of the woods is terrifying. This makes me wonder, are all the creations in this house a consequence of someone's imagination or experience? It's an unfinished painting of what looks to be like a mother and a child standing in shallow water. The manuscript of Luca Tomini, Codex Niva, Goldin, Heart of Pagubice? I've never heard of these works. Miniatures of strangely shaped white people. The painting is stained, but the sinister gaze of the man is still clearly noticeable. Is that a giant heart? Who's there? Victoria? Victoria? Where's my Bible? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Where is she? Under the blanket. Come closer. Wake her up. grieving man with a forehead full of horrible dark lesions. Leave it for the sake of my eyes. I hate the dark. It reminds me of a man I haven't seen for a while. One day he just stopped attending our church. The bed's empty. Where is she? What do you believe in, Benedict? Where's my sister? I need to see her. She took my Bible away from me. Answer me first. 
Besides God, what do you believe in? I believe life should be spent in solitude where questions like yours cannot arise. See, I believe life is pointless without a family. We don't exist if we don't belong to someone else except God. Family, Benedict. Without a family, life cannot exist. You made that clear enough when you abandoned priesthood to marry my sister. That was a sacrifice I believed had to be made. As of today, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not following. Family members don't hurt each other. It's wrong. Don't you agree? Victoria hurt you? What did she do this time? You did. You turned her against me. What are you talking about? About the things you suggested to her yesterday on the train. I beg your pardon? I didn't say a word to her, to you, to no one, as a matter of fact. What about calling me an addict? Th that I did say. But what have I done? I didn't turn her against you. She even defended you. Of course she did. When she's the one who gave me the morphine months ago. She did what? She did what family's supposed to do. She helped her husband to alleviate his pain. Now, it's your turn, Benedict. Will you help me? Help you with what? I, I just want to talk to her. I want that too. I want to talk to my wife. So where is she? What's going on? I, I don't want to stay here anymore. You think I'm a degenerate? Have I imagined hearing your voices downstairs? Who? Uh, that was just me. She's not downstairs. How many times I called your names before hearing that horrible scream of yours? I screamed when I woke up from a terrible nightmare. Well, I'm living the nightmare right now. Don't lie to me. I heard you talking after that scream. I talked to God, and I talked to myself, and then I came here to talk to her. Is that true? Because the real problem I have is that the two of you emptied my whole bag while I was asleep. Why? I don't care about all that stuff. Have it. Now that he mentioned his bag, where's mine? I didn't see it downstairs. Just give me my morph... <laughs> my pills back. Make my pain go away. Instead of accusing me, perhaps you should search in that bag of yours again. I did that and I scoured the whole floor several times already, only to find nothing. Someone took my pills. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was her. You think I'm a thief? Go on then, search me. I believe you can be anything you want, as long as it fits your vision of righteousness, Brother Benedict. But you're not stupid. You wouldn't risk being caught while carrying them around. Maybe it's time for me to start questioning my belonging to this family. I'm gonna go downstairs now. You stay here. Why? I already told you she's not there. Don't be anxious. If she is, I'll make her talk and give me my pills back. If she's not, I'll find them by myself. In any case, I'll call you once I'm done. Maybe they had a quarrel and she left before I woke up. I don't trust him. Whatever the truth is, I should take the chance and search for my Bible while he's not around. Remember what I asked you? Have you seen my Bible? I don't understand. You want my help now? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not sure I've seen it. But you should definitely search the floor. People say I don't have a keen eye for details, so I might not have noticed it. Not ideal, but much better. Uh, 
I've never seen this woman, but I feel like I know her from somewhere. It's not a pleasant feeling, though. Strange. These are not books. Just blank covers with no names and no numbers. My Bible doesn't seem to be among them. Was he telling me the truth? He did. It's completely empty. Why would Victoria take all of his belongings? It doesn't make any sense. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. The branches represent visual keychain holders and there's a key hanging as a corpse on one of them. It's locked. I can't breathe. It smells so sickening. So, obviously, your wife's not here, Nikolai. She must have sneaked out while Benedict was holding you upstairs. And now you're supposed to go after her, right? Perhaps she has your pills. But if you've learned something in your marriage, it's that she always expects you to make the most obvious decision. Just look around the room first. I have no reason to go back upstairs. blinded dead man. It's bleak and depressing out there. not the right key for this door. Think clearly and harder. Keep thinking, Nikolai. Ah, keep thinking. Could be worth taking a look. No pills, just spikes. No, you should first search the whole floor. Just a mere wooden stick. There's nothing underneath. The witch, the king, and the kingdom. The sun is setting. Darkness will be upon us soon. Of secrets and silent pain. Silent, full of dead coals.
Very intriguing piece of art. That is not a viable option. An empty basin for holy water. A lifeless woman who's been tortured before her death. Must be at least a century old. Looks like the owner has an alluring hobby. Eh, these dolls are nothing special. Except for the big ones at the back. Not counting the headless ones, of course. You should definitely take one of them for your private collection. Which one do you choose? Bad choice. The image of the devil. The doll with horns. Fascinating. What do we have here? A small brown bag. And it's not just any bag. It's Benedict's bag. So you have to ask yourself why it was hidden here. What's inside? I haven't checked the whole floor yet. My Bible should be here somewhere. Just old clothes, and nothing but mold in them. Appalling! A heap of dead! Hurried into the wall. Who keeps a heap of dissected frogs in his house? I'll have to find a key first. Is that a giant heart? This makes me wonder, are all the creations in this house a consequence of someone's imagination or experience? I haven't checked the whole floor yet. My Bible should be here somewhere. The eyes give her a frog-like resemblance.
a yellow blanket wrinkled only on one side of the bed, which means that either Victoria or Nikolai didn't sleep here. Victoria! Nikolai, what's happening? I'd better check. That window was right above the front door. Liar said he'd call me. Nikolai! Wait! I have to stop him. That's my bag. How did it get on the floor? The inside is all wet, slimy. My rosary is here, and so is my pen. But everything else is gone. Nikolai must have known the whole time where my bag was. Which means he has my... He has my Bible as well. Or it's Victoria who has it. I, I didn't turn her against him. It was Nikolai who turned Victoria against me. Maybe it's all part of a wicked plot against me. All she had to do was drag me to this place and put me on the stage like a puppet. And now they are just pulling the strings. They make me sleep in this house. They take my Bible and hide my bag. She disappears, and now... And now he's doing the same. Nikolai is trying to disappear. Nikolai! I was checking something. Really? On the ground, between the leaves, and behind the house. Stop this madness! Who's there? <sighs> Calm down. Why are you doing this to me? Benedict, listen to me. No, I've listened to your lies in the house. Now you should listen to me. All right. I'm all ears. It's clear to me that what the two of you are doing goes way back, months before this damn journey. What are you talking about? Let me explain. Where's my Bible? Again with this question? You must have lost it somewhere. But don't worry, you can probably get a new one in town. I don't want a new one. I want exactly that Bible, because it is mine. It was given to me by my father. And no one else except me is allowed to carry it, or even just touch it. Not my sister, not you, not even Father Imre. I know. Calm down. Victoria told me this a long time ago. How would you describe this town? Would you say it's a hidden gem in the mountains? Well, it is alluring, isn't it? To whom? The gem in the mountains were her words. That's how Victoria tried to convince me to go on this journey with the two of you. And when I refused, what did she do? She went to my superior, Father Imre, and claimed Sveti Kotar is a work of God. She convinced him, so I had to go. But I never believed those words. And God knows I was right to do so. We all saw the truth the moment we arrived in this town. You mean the ritual on the square? I found it fascinating. This journey, this house, the disappearances, it's all part of your wicked plot against me. <sighs> A plot against you? Can you hear yourself? I'm starting to believe Victoria was right to have doubts about your health. So this is what this journey is all about. You want to make me look crazy, put me in a mental institution. You got it all wrong. Calm down. Wrong? You knew the whole time where my bag was. Did Victoria hide my Bible there and then you just grabbed it on your way out? 
I found something slimy in my bag. Did you drool while stealing my stuff, or was it her? Benedict. And where is she? Is she hiding in the woods? Do you know? Of course you do. She must have told you that I cannot leave this town without her. So why is she hiding from me? Because she knows I can't leave without her, and this just prolongs the agony of being in this damned place. And that's exactly what's going on here. You want to torment me as long as you can. So what do you do to be sure I won't leave on my own? You steal my documents from the bag. But you know, before we left, I made her swear on our parents' graves that she would have to take me back to Budapest immediately if I decided so. So no, I'm not crazy. Are the two of you done with me now? Does she need to desecrate our parents' remains? <sighs> you certainly made a point here. I wouldn't say you're crazy, but you got it all wrong. How about I tell you what really happened? You expect me to believe you after everything that has happened? We were robbed, Benedict. When I woke up, my first thought was that you and Victoria stole all my stuff, including my morphine. Then I went down and found your bag behind the dolls. Unlike my own, yours wasn't empty. So I was right. Victoria put the Bible inside, and you... No. The only things I found in there are a pen, a rosary, and this. Are those human eyes? You're the one who's crazy here. Thirty pig's eyes inside a pig's bowel. Horrible, I agree. But, uh... That's why your bag was so slimy. This is insane. He's lying. And now that he's come closer, I can notice an unpleasant, musty smell on him. I believe it's what the perpetrator left to mock us. After stealing our stuff, he obviously had a need to leave a mark of his deed. And who's supposedly our perpetrator? The owner of the tavern, of course. Why would a man who waited a whole day just to give us the keys of the house do such a thing? And why would he take everything but my rosary and a pen? I guess because it's the same man who left a dozen of pig's eyes in your bag. I don't know where he got this bowel, but this story is ridiculous. So how do you explain Victoria's missing bag then? If that man robbed us without taking our bags, where is hers? Maybe Victoria took it with her. I noticed that the blanket on your bed is wrinkled only on one side. Confess, Victoria didn't sleep at all last night. She took her time to do everything you plotted together, and then she disappeared. Enough with this crazy idea that this is all about you! I don't know where Victoria is. When I woke up, she wasn't there. The smell on Nikolai, I just realized. It's the same odor of the wardrobe upstairs. These clothes he's wearing are not his. He must have taken them. I'm going to get all of our stuff back. Don't worry. You just stay here and wait for Victoria. What? Wait, no, you shouldn't. Is he going to meet her in town? Or perhaps she's hiding in the woods and waiting for me to leave. What should I do? I have to move. I need my morphine. What do you want? I'll wait here. And I shall return back in no time. In the meantime, you should try to get some rest. <laughs>